What you got? Stephanie Railways, named after me. Uh, misses all the wetlands and all the forest because it preserves animals. And, and we also set up plans to help animals, like um, breeding endangered species. We also plant tree. We also planted some trees to um, help the environment. Trap trees are possible to pick. They might be the most expensive out of over three hundred million. I think it was at the end, but it is the most eco-friendly, and that's why I think it's it was best trap for us. And trap two might be the cheapest, but the track would go through about five percent of the forest. Also, go through some of the wetlands. But tra in track one, it went through all of the wetlands. It went 80% of the forest and was least eco-friendly. Don't forget to me. And our train there is connected to the tracks via magnets and I made a little joke powered by your resources it's electric. And then we've got a graph here about eco-friendly. If it's if the bar's full, it's the most eco-friendly, then you've got track two, it's a bit eco-friendly, then you've got track one, which is not eco-friendly at all. You've got tra track track two. Track one is the second cheapest of course, and you've got track two, which is the cheapest, and then you've got track three, which is more expensive. Off we go. We chose route three because it was the cheapest and it destroyed the least amount of um, nature and it was the most eco friendly. Um, and we're going to replant the three trees that it did dry and put them in the forest where the animals will be safe. <laughs> this is my train and its main features are on board a jiffy, a swim pool, a jacuzzi, just to name a few. Go and tell us something else interesting instead of whispering amongst yourselves. Go on, what have you got? It's upside down for me. Okay. So these are the calculations that you did, yeah? If you can hold that for him. The main features of the door. Shout, Matt, right over here. Oh, the main features are toilets, McDonald's, trampoline park, gold water pee room, under the retail engines, bowl speakers, clothes and stuff. Pasta, swimming pool, the wave pool, hot tub, that was really weird. Or a dungeon experience. Sounds like. I'm going to be talking about how we built the track. We tried to build a track that would not destroy many things. However, we did only destroy a few trees in one home. We are trying to plant trees back down in different areas, and we are helping the family's house we destroyed to find a new house of their choosing. Uh, our cost only came to £143 million pounds to build this project, over then over £250 million. I will be talking about how we calculated the cost of our bridges. Our most successful one was the first one because we went past three trees and, a, and one house. The amount on our first one was £143 million, and the amount on our second one was £279 million, and, and our third one was £283 million. So number one was a less expensive and easier one to do. I'm going to be talking about my train design called Pampered Wheels. The reason why my train design is called Pampered Wheels is because it has everything to make you feel pampered, such as sleeping area, first class, comfier seats, inbuilt screens, and a vending machine. This train is to make people feel better than any other train in the world. I'm going to be talking about my train, the Royal Elizabeth. The reason why it's called the Royal Elizabeth is because Queen Elizabeth the second is in it. And it's got like a really nice bar that sells you drinks, coffee, tea and sodas. Sorry. Our train is called Spoonster. The train station is called Eston Train Station. The cheapest route was Route 3, which cost £153 million. Pounds. Our features on this train is fireball hoops and, ele and it is electrical power. The speed for travels at 
continue fully to the Okay, twice. Also, this fruit is the cheapest to build, and the cheapest to add on. It's supposed to run down the Ready? So we have we have designed a new train called Destination Speed. It allows people to make travel quickly and efficiently in costing England and is good for the and is great for the nature. Brilliant. What about the nature? Is there a problem though with nature? Charlie, would you tell me about that? Um, with the nature we had a <laughs> yeah, slightly handsome wildlife, but We've cured it by putting up some green bridges and replanting the forest. That's fantastic. Megan, what, what can you tell me about the economics of it? Um, it costs $198 million. Okay. And, uh, Do you think you get lots of jobs out of that though, perhaps? Lots of people? Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. That's what you need to tell me. And uh, what so about basically, Harry then? Standards which will limit, limit noise and air pollution, and also any people whose houses are caught in our route will get a, a scheme which will give them more benefits on our on our train, and we will also raise a fund to pay for the people's houses who have to move so they do not have to pay for the damage that they have caused. Good. Okay, so you ready? Our best route comes to the price of 157 million. Our train is called Herbert. Okay. And how did you decide that was the best route? Um, um, because, because we had three different tries, and uh, on the first one, we, we, went, we went across the lake and like, looked through all the trees, and we, we realised that um, it's like going to destroy all the how it taps for birds and other animals and kill like the like nature and that so we decided to make another one which went across the river but then that that like it worked and it wasn't that harmful but it cost a lot more money so then we tried one more time and then we went across the river once and it it only come to a low price and so you were balancing cost with environmental impact there, weren't you? Yeah. Well, so, you so to build it, we had to go through um, a river and we had to knock down um, a tree on two. But, to, but then we're gonna like we're gonna the trees the we knocked down. We're gonna like rebuild them and we're put gonna, them in the forest. We're gonna add in a pound to. Oh yeah, bus bears. Uh, we're gonna add in a pound to bus fares to to um, get money up to buy more things to buy trees. Because on the cost of a ticket, a kid's not going to make too much difference. Okay, good idea. Like look fun. And then the train also provides food and drinks, um, and but then and also one, and the train goes like really fast. So hang on to your hats. <laughs> you don't want it to take too long, though, do you? Also, also we utilise the water, um, and they like um, hydro electricity for the um, to. S to power, uh, power the station, power the station, and then uh, we put solar panels on top of the station and the train to power the train and like for the lightning pitching in the train. Right. So you tried to offset the carbon footprint where you could. Great idea. Producing things. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Ben. We chose track plan two as it is the least expensive and puts through the least amount of wildlife. Therefore, it affects only a small amount of wildlife. Track 3 is the most expensive and cuts through more wildlife. Track Plan 3 costs more than Track Plan 2. Okay, next one, quick. The name of our train is Silver Bullet. To pass, to pass time, we have a variety of entertainment for children 18 and under. It provides comfortable seats and, ta and tables with lots of bedroom. We designed a new Silver Bullet as it shows, shows speed. It will get you to your destination quicker than safely. Excellent. And it has 146 Okay, you've got that one now. Our eco-manifesto, we will build a nature reserve with a breeding program in the wetlands for endangered birds that are nearby. We will have three marine bridges to support wildlife at 
Which we have only crossed one to the green one. 